Here we go again. Football. So I'm here currently walking towards Altrincham's ground. I'm here with York City once again tonight. All changed since I last saw them. No more Neil Ardley. And also in the relegation zone. Not looking good. No wins currently under the new manager. Could be an interesting one. His first trip in a while without Gary. Gary not here tonight. Got band duties with Adam. So let's hope for some uh, great moments that we've had with York this season. Fingers crossed. See you in the ground. Found a few familiar faces. Pete, how are you, mate? I'm all right, thank you. Are you? Good. good, good, thank you very much. So I have to say, when I came to watch uh, York win at Oxford City, I didn't think they'd be in this position. What's gone wrong? Dreaming of the playoffs at one point. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'd be a millionaire if I knew. I'm, to be fair, I'd put it down to players there's, I think there's clicks I don't think they're all playing together it's just not a team mm. my, but um, I have a lot of sympathy with chairman to be honest he's doing everything for him and they ain't performing up pitch I know I know things were rushed at the beginning of the season but everything were done with best intentions but I don't know they need to start framing themselves they're letting us down was it the right decision to part company with Ardley? Um, my opinion, yeah. It, it, if you were going to do it, you had to do it there and then. It was tinkering too much with the team. What frustrated me was it was worrying about the opposition more than letting them worry about us. We should have been forcing our opinion on them. Um, th there's rumours of stuff behind the scenes as well, but... He clearly lost the dressing room, if you ask me. But um, and once you've done that, you ain't getting it out with them. But, yeah. And how do you see tonight going? It'd be just like us to go and win. It'd be the it'd be the York City way. It it would just be like us, but we've certainly put a team out there that's uh, forward thinking. Put it that way. Yeah. We're all trying to figure out the formation, but yeah. Um. So. If you can't defend, why not go out and try and score them, which we yeah. can't, so why not? Yeah. Uh, play, thanks for your time, mate. Eh? No worries. Uh, Michael, go on, go score prediction for us. Um, I'm going to go 1-0 one, one today. 1-0 one one nil nil, to... One nil to York, and it'll, and it'll be an own goal, a fluke goal. It'll come off somebody's backside. We just need a bit of luck. Okay. And what time in the game will that happen? Um, <laughs> with you being here, 89th minute. <laughs> That's how that happens. See you soon. Evening, Jake. You've asked us for a prediction. Sadly, can't make the game tonight. We're in Camden, going to a gig in Kentish Town later on. Um, he's, he's going with three strikers up top, so hopefully there's goals in it. So I'm going with 2-1. Yeah, I was going to say 2-1 as well. Yeah. All right, we're both going 2-1. Fingers crossed. Here you go, then.
Six on the clock. Oh, dear God, no! Here they come again. And look at this! Oh my God! Look at this, running straight through him. Lost it again. Delaying, come here man. Come again. Right in the middle. Ooh. Not done yet. Look at the space he's got. Oh man. Hey, I've been looking. Oh, oh. oh. Corner. Here he comes. Oh, the oh, corner. He's short this time. Easy again. Another corner. Okay, another one. Again, back post this time. He's on the header. Look at the space here. What is this? He's missed. Look at the frustration here. That's how low it is for York at the moment. Free kick for York. Can they make something of this? Here it comes. Yeah. Running into trouble. There we go. Look at the breakaway here. Look at this. Look at this. 2 0. Oh dear. Wow. There we go again. Across the middle. It's a corner. Oh, look at this! Space here, right across, so he's missed. In the middle. Back ball! Yes, save. Here comes a corner. Not gone yet. He's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot! Side name. 
from the free kick. Lone player by the fucking game. That's what we were saying, Skip is quite bad. He's not even trying to win the header, is he? There we go again, look, another break. Going all the way. Oh, he's got a corner. Space he's got here. He's going to shoot, is he? He is now. Blocked. Oh! Pinball! Oh! Well, well, well. <laughs> Half time. Half time, Old Trincom 3, York City 0. I think that has got to be the worst performance I've seen from any team I've seen this season. I said that Rotherham were bad that first half against Sheffield Wednesday that Sunday morning. But my word, that was that was comical. Embarrassing. Just no fight from York whatsoever. Old Trincom, first to every ball, pressing, working twice as hard as what York are doing. Uh, the fans are frustrated. They have every ride to be frustrated. I'd have a sore throat by now if Mansfield were playing like that. You know, are, are they having second thoughts about sacking Arley, perhaps? But it, it, there's no shape, no fight, no nothing in York City that first half. Uh, well, where is the second half going to go? Who knows? We'll see you soon. All right, second half. Let's go. He has the block to the corner. Corner. Another one. To the corner. Oh, I'll tell you what. Hello. Get the ball into the box. He can. Oh, Depo! No. Maybe he's not offside. But he's missed. He's going to shoot. He's blocked. Here we come. Bring it back. Oh. He's missed. Oh. 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 Jump a goal! Come on, give everybody a lift. Come on, make it happen, York. I'm gonna go for goal. There we go, come on. Oh, you got four. Better fight, York, come on. Into the box. And now! Space he's got. Going for goal. Got in. And that has killed any hope of a comeback. Oh dear. Again. Again. Again.
In the corner. In the space. Oh, golly! Good save! And now the corner. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, then. Nice block. Corner. It's another corner header. Put it back. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the Taking the free kick quickly. <laughs> well. Fans, fans walking out. Oh dear. This is not what we want to see. What the hell are you doing, Mitch? <laughs> oh, 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 oh! The save again! Short corner. Oh, oh, oh. No. Here they come again. Six one. Wow. Look at the space again. That's one ball. Save. Have a shot, have a shot. And that sums up the night. Oh, keeper, just a clap. <laughs> Well, that, 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 that was painful from a York perspective, that was. Absolute disgraceful performance. Um, 
was sacking Neil Arley the right decision? I mean, when I saw it announced on Twitter, I immediately rung Gary and thought, really? That bad? I mean, some fans, as you saw, happy with it. Some after tonight might not be. I mean, would that have happened with Neil Ardley in charge tonight? I don't think so. They might have lost, but they wouldn't have lost in dire strikes like that. I mean, that, I mean they were lucky it was only six. It was men against boys, it really was. Just getting, you know, done left, right and centre on the wings. I really don't know what else to say for York fans. It's frighteningly bad at the moment. And it's not been that much better within in, in Sherwood's other games. You know, it might be a short spell for him as York manager. Especially with John Askey in the stands. And, you know, they're becoming a bit of too much of a sacking club, I think, York. Uh, sacked John Askey in the dire circumstances last year when he didn't deserve it. He got away with it last year. I don't think they will get away with it this year. No, I really don't. Could be Scarborough away next year. It really could. But now for the ratings. Atmosphere. Oh, quite toxic in the York end tonight. Old Tringham fans gave it a great go. Seem to have some interesting chance, I have to say as well, but uh, we only say four out of 10, I'm afraid. The ground. Well, this is a hidden gem, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic ground. Uh, big stand, uh, seating area next to it. A completely different area, top, you know, top left from where I was. Standing terrace behind the goal. Terrace, stand, terrace, and then a standing terrace in the open. 10 out of 10. Loved it. Great ground. Expense. Well, £20 to watch that from a York perspective. <laughs> Want my money back. Might get my money back, you never know. But from a football perspective, seven goals. Uh, some comedy moments. Sorry, sorry it's getting worthy. Um, but still, £20 for this level is still a bit steep, though, I think. Eight out of ten. Overall experience. What are these for, then? <laughs> Look at this. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Going for goal! I've got a goal! Space he's got. Going for goal. Yeah. In. Taking the free kick quickly. Yeah. Here they come again. Yeah. 6-1. Oh, gutted to be amongst that with the Oak fans seeing one of the I've seen some really good moments with them this season and over the years, but that one was a real low point, which I'm probably due to be to be fair. Uh, didn't like it, but uh, saw some good football from Altrincham. But again, you know, it's at the York's expense of being that bad. You've gone from a team that don't know the beat to a team that was beaten after the second minute. But so uh, yeah, we say five out of ten for overall experience this time, which leaves Altrincham on a score of twenty-seven out of forty. Very good score once again. Really enjoyed seeing the ground for the first time. I looked on the picture, I thought it looked really nice, and it really was something to savour. Just not for York. <laughs> Didn't get the moment tonight, but never mind. Maybe next time. And I'll see you then. Ta-da.